Mercury Redstone 3 was launched on May 5th, 1961 at 2.34 p.m. UTC from Launch Complex 5 at Cape Canaveral. It is one of only a few suborbital flights that we covered by a mission profile, and that is because it was the first of four crewed suborbital flights exceeding 100 kilometers in altitude launched by the United States, two being Mercury capsules on Redstone rockets, and two being X-15 flights 90 and 91. Also known as Freedom 7, this mission was piloted by Alan Shepard, who became the first American in space, achieving an apoapsis of 187.5 kilometers and traveling 487 kilometers downrange. The mission was due to last about 15 minutes and was a precursor to launching the Mercury spacecraft into orbit on an Atlas rocket. Due to the short duration though, there was no urine collection unit on Mercury, so when Shepard was left waiting for launch for three hours, he ultimately asked and received permission to urinate in his suit, a simple pressure suit not really designed for that. All was well though, and Shepard was able to try out manual control of the spacecraft in space, something that could not be tested with the preceding launch of Mercury Redstone 2 with Han the Chimp. Shepard faced a peak acceleration of 11.6 Gs on the way back down, so it was a rough ride and brief, but he became the second human in space.